It'll be a place where they want to be. A $58 million facelift is coming to the Vache Library at Stanislaus State. Today we're celebrating the, uh, the kickoff for the renovation and uh, we're saying goodbye to the old and hello to the new. It's going to be really exciting and really cool. It's just going to, it's like giving Stan State a facelift. <laughs> Immediately after commencement at the end of this month, the library will close and they'll be moving into a library annex spread out over more than 20 modular units around campus. Because they'll be closing for a full two years, junior Lauren Avila won't have a traditional library to come back to her senior year. I'm a little sad about that, but I mean, luckily um, I'm a local student. And so, I mean, I live only 15 minutes away, so hopefully I'll still get to utilize and come check out campus, walk around, enjoy. And the Dean of Library Services realizes that this change is not going to come without some growing pains. They are not going to have a traditional library for two years, and we realize that that is a big change. So what we're trying to do is what we want to tell them from the beginning, all the services that you can get right now, you're going, to be, you're going to be able to get them in the modular units that we have set aside in the north side. But when all is said and done, he says the new library will be brighter with more natural light, 19 group study rooms, a cafe, and more than a thousand seats as opposed to the 620 right now. I'm just happy that this will be a resource for uh, for generations to come. The library is named after Bert Vachey's father, the founding president of Cal State Stanislaus. And while his father died before the library was built in the 60s, he says he'd be proud to see it evolving today. He would be very, very proud to see the growth of the library and the significance of the entire campus and the growth of the campus, but especially proud of the fact that there's been new reinvestment in expanding this library to serve even more people.